हेलो एंड वेलकम टू मोटर बी Toyota kickstarted the MPV revolution in India with the launch of its Qualys which was succeeded by the Innova in 2005. Now after 11 years we have the second generation Innova with us it's called the Innova Crysta. It's new in almost every dimension and it goes the premium route. Well how does the Innova fare? We are here in Goa to find out. The Innova is now an attractive looking car with the frameless grille, projector headlights with DRLs, 17-inch alloy wheels and L-shaped tail lights. It has grown in size but the MPV profile is very evident from the side. The cabin of the new Toyota Innova Crysta has severely improved and looks very premium. but the wheelbase remains the same quality is excellent and practicality is at the forefront here it might be hot but i don't feel dehydrated at all because the innova has 20 bottle holders inside the cabin and this car is made for the passenger so yes the seats are very comfortable there's good amount of leg room and knee room in the second row and headroom is also plenty one can push forward the front co-passenger seat from behind to increase room even further the seats are wide and supportive while the second row also gets stable the last row is best used by kids even though it gets three proper seat belts the innova has very flexible seating and luggage carrying options it also gets two glove boxes with the upper one being chilled The side AC vents have bottle holders right in front and even the last row has a chilled bottle holder. Toyota has loaded the Innova Crysta with a ton of features and the top end ZX trim gets a half wooden steering, automatic climate control, smart key with keyless entry. electrically retracting outside mirrors push button start eight way power adjustable driver seat automatic headlight touch screen audio system with navigation traction control cruise control ambient lighting seven airbags and a 3D instrument cluster with multi information display Toyota has equipped the Innova with two all new GD series of diesel engines. Now there's a 2.4 liter manual which gets a smooth shifting 5 speed gearbox and a light clutch. But turn on the car and the gear lever vibrates a lot. There's a 2.8 liter automatic which gets a 6 speed gearbox and offers the convenience of stress free driving. Now both these engines offer fantastic NVH. There's very little vibration inside the cabin, but what is bothersome is that the motors get very vocal when you push it hard. Power delivery is very linear and redline comes in at 4500 rpm. The two modes on offer eco and power. Now in eco mode you can feel that the revs don't rise very quickly but in power mode with the additional power and torque compared to the old Innova the new model makes very swift progress in normal driving mode one gets the best of both worlds with the mid range being the strongest point of the GD engine Toyota's worked hard on the suspension of the new Innova and it really shows the new model has very good ride quality it absorbs every bump in its stride and clearly the focus is on comfort The hydraulic steering is on the heavier side and there's quite a lot of body roll around corners. But the vehicle handles quite well for its size as it is now 200 kg heavier than before. It remains stable at high speeds with the brakes offering good stopping power. From being a people mover, the Innova has now gone premium. 
This vehicle offers a lot of comfort, there are a ton of features on offer and most importantly the performance and dynamics have improved drastically. Yes, this does cost a lot of money but if you look at the big picture, the new Innova Crista is undoubtedly the best vehicle to buy under the rupees 30 lakh price bracket. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe to the Motorbeam channel.